worm. Prepare yourself. Damn sin. The Android 21 manga we've all been waiting for. Does that title sound familiar? Young GG, the master, released two pages a while back on his brand new Dragon Ball fan manga having Android 21 versus what eventually will be Mastered Ultra Instant Goku. And at the time, there were only a couple pages, so I made a video focusing on those and what my expectations for this Dragon Ball fan manga were. Well guys, now we have the entire chapter and it's more or less what I wanted. So we get a really quick synopsis of the storyline of Dragon Ball Fighters, and by quick I mean rapid fire speed. When I made my review for Dragon Ball Fighters, I tried to condense the story of it in maybe uh, two or three minutes. Well, this does it in like a paragraph and it basically hits all the points, but it definitely is a little confusing if you haven't played the game. So essentially what's happening here is that Goku is taking out these clones that Android 21 created. So with Goku destroying these clones, he's essentially destroying Android 21's food source because she gets stronger by eating stronger and stronger opponents, but she has been basically making these clones into appetizers. And with her food source destroyed, Android 21 realizes that now is the time to kill Goku. And young Gigi definitely played Dragon Ball Fighters because this Goku is ripped right out of that game. He does not take the threat of Android 21, the linked souls system, and all these clones. Seriously, all he wants to do is face stronger opponents. It's like the Dragon Ball Super version of Goku, but on crack. Goku charges his key in what I admit to be a beautifully drawn power-up and attacks Android 21 head first. She ends up blocking it very easily and trades a few blows with Goku who also blocks it not as easily and then she hits him with an energy beam. She teleports right behind Goku and does the spinning kick thing that her Majin 21 transformation does in the games and I like this little detail because it shows that young Gigi is taking combat moves from the game and he's actually studied and played the game very well but I also like this because this is not Majin Android 21. This is just normal Android 21, the human version, who really doesn't get much shine in the game at all and no combat. So I definitely like this spinning kick move. Goku ends up eating the kick and Android 21 is staring at him, looking at him like he is her next dish. But Goku doesn't seem worried in the slightest and ends up just transforming into Super Saiyan Blue. Which you guys all know that young Gigi knows how to make Super Saiyan Blue look badass and look distinct from the rest of the Super Saiyan transformations. Now I like this little detail right here. Android 21 in the games never saw Goku go into Super Saiyan Blue. In the storyline, he stays Super Saiyan for the entire thing. And besides him being able to transform the Super Saiyan 3 for his finisher, I'm sure she's never seen any other transformation. So she basically says the same thing that Frieza says when he first sees Super Saiyan Blue talking about the hair color thing. But Goku soon shows her that it's more than hair dye and attacks her again head on. But this time he's far too quick for her and she eats a few punches, tries to come back from them but Goku is far too agile, far too fast and is dodging all her moves. Goku hits her with a Super Saiyan Blue Kamehameha wave and then she rebuffs with a android wave. Majin Android 21 wave, whatever it's called, she hits him with an energy beam and they beam clash Budokai Tenkaichi 3 style. Goku wins the power struggle and she not only eats his Kamehameha wave, she also eats her own energy beam. And this is when you realize that that's the reason that Goku was so overconfident throughout this entire fight because he knew Super Saiyan Blue is stronger than her at her current stage and she is forced to transform into her Majin Android 21 self. Surprising Goku, but not in the right way. Goku is not at all worried about this new transformation, it seems. He's just more excited to fight a stronger opponent. 
So now we get to one of the main reasons I love Android 21 and I hinted at it a little bit earlier but she is a character that's perfect for a fighting game especially a fighting game like Dragon Ball Fighters because her moveset's so slick and so fluid and young Gigi represents those moves very accurately in this fight scene. Her pure ferocity seems to be overwhelming Goku and it does seem like she's a bit faster than Super Saiyan Blue, which you guys who do these versus videos and like to power scale would probably need to take Android 21's power in this manga at face value because I didn't think in the game that she was as strong as Super Saiyan Blue, but this manga obviously is putting them at the same level, if not making her a little bit stronger. So kind of have to bite your tongue on this one and just enjoy the ride. Hey guys, this move is straight out of the game. So Goku's finally getting it through his head that, you know, she's probably much stronger than he first anticipated and he should be probably taking this fight a little bit more seriously. So it's Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken time and this is also straight from the game. You guys know Super Saiyan Blue Goku, his finisher is Kaioken. So this is another great little easter egg from the game and I like that it is included here. You guys may have your own reservations about Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken. I think it's an interesting technique. I like that it's applied on top of Super Saiyan Blue and the first time I saw it when he faced against Hit, I thought it was pretty awesome. But the thing about this technique is that it's a nightmare to power scale and unless we see Goku facing off against like say Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta and then using the technique and seeing how much it overpowers Vegeta then we really don't have too much of an accurate power skill of how much more powerful this makes a Super Saiyan Blue transformation. Although in this iteration, it seems like it's doing the job quite handedly against Majin Android 21. But remember, this technique's not one you can use forever. It's very time sensitive and it puts an immense stress on your body. So we can all agree that this is by far the strongest Kamehameha wave that Goku has in Dragon Ball Super, excluding anything Ultra Instinct wise. So she basically ate this and doesn't seem to have taken much damage from it. And that is where this Dragon Ball fan manga ends. And as you guys can tell by the cover, at some point we will be saying Master Ultra Instinct Goku. And I think that's probably going to come in the next chapter. If not, we get Omen first and then we end with Master Ultra Instinct. I do think that that's the whole ramp up to this arc. I think that this fan manga specifically is trying to portray or at least have young Gigi interpret what Ultra Instinct may look like in his own style. So the end game was always Ultra Instinct. So more than likely that's the reason why Android 21 is far more powerful than she originally seemed in Dragon Ball Fighters. Overall, I definitely like the direction this is going. I only have one nitpick, and this is just coming from Young Gigi's mangas that I've seen so far, and that is that we get the classic Dragon Ball Z back and forth throughout the fight scenes. I mean, one person stronger or slightly stronger than the other, then they power up, and then they're much stronger, then another person powers up. This happened a lot in this one, and it happened in other ones that I've read. And you bet your ass that once the new chapter comes out and he decides to go with Omen before Mastered, then Omen's going to be stronger than Majin Android 21. And then Majin Android 21 is going to like power up and be a little bit stronger. And then we're going to go into MUI. It's just the back and forth that is sort of the problem with old Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Super seems to have moved away a little bit from this, but for the most part, it's still very much present as you guys could tell from Dragon Ball Super Broly. Anyway, hope you enjoy this. This is going to be Blackscape signing off. Take care, guys.